Today, the Jazz enter a new era as Coach Frank Layden steps down as head coach and turns the reins over to new head coach Jerry Sloan. I love my job. I love the kids. I love, uh, I love the game. I love the NBA. Frank loved it all right, just enough to leave it, walking away because there's more to life than planes, trains, and 6 a.m. wake-up calls. But the real story here is the lives that were touched along the way. Good morning yesterday You wake up and time has slipped away and suddenly it's hard to find the memories you left behind remember do you remember you got one foul go use it up come on we'll get you back in there come on for frank Layden, success was never seen as a destination but as a journey a journey filled with laughter and sam bastone i'd like to thank him for his faith in me and what i'm going to do is reward him by promising him and this organization to bring a world championship team to Utah next year. Of course, it will be either the Celtics, uh, <laughs> the Lakers, uh, or, uh, uh, but however. In just three years' time, Frank Layden made good on his promise in a way no one could have foreseen, leading his jazz to the promised land in the rugged Midwest division and he even got to coach the Western Conference All-Stars. Is this the best thing that's ever happened to you as far as your career? No. The most fun thing? Well, no. My, my honeymoon was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. But next to that, it was, it was good. Yes, the road got rough at times as Frank struggled with his weight and with some of his players. Boring. However, life with Layden was anything but boring, especially for those closest to him. The Utah Jazz, in my mind, will always be uh, recognized as Frank Layden's basketball team. Frank Layden has, has done a lot for the Jazz, and uh, a lot of other people have, have taken part in his success but he's more or less been the glue. Frank played such a key role in holding this franchise together just with, with sticks and glue for about a good part of 11 years. I really miss him. And you know, I feel like if there's anybody that <clears throat> deserves to have a, a jersey hung up in their name, it's Frank Layden. Well, you know, Frank had one, a good one line for him. <laughs> He actually loosened me up a little bit in that game, too, when he combed his hair and pulled out that, that big yellow comb. But uh, that's what he's about. He's bigger than life, and he knows that basketball is important. He works very hard at it, but, you know, uh, you've got to enjoy your life somewhere. And sometimes even during the course of basketball games, he can crack smiles on a lot of people's faces. My best memories of Frank is just his humor and uh, the job that he's done at this place, turning a team that was a perennial loser around into a winner. The profession misses him because there aren't many men in the profession that have the kind of dignity and integrity that Frank Layden has. Of course, when Frank took the helm of the Jazz in 81, his colleagues compared him to the captain of the Titanic. Three years later, those same skeptics honored him, sort of, as the NBA Coach of the Year. And I'm convinced that when the great list of coaches is finally read, Frank Layden is going to be right there listening. Now, we've played very good. Very good. We're going to play better. Just for the record, Frank Layden led his team to more victories than any coach in franchise history. But numbers in a book aren't enough to measure the man. What I take from Frank Layden is he taught me so much more than just basketball. Uh, he taught me about life, dealing with people, and uh, putting that family number one. That, that was Frank Layden. The upset, the chance of the underdog winning. Maybe the Jazz will win someday. It gives us all hope. Gather moments while you may collect the dreams you dream today. Remember, will you remember the times of your life? 
Sometimes I wonder how I ever was so lucky. Ta-da! <laughs>